guys. Hope you're doing great. Our today's question is largest number. Given a list of non-negative integers, arrange them such that they form the largest number. For example, 10 and 2 are the given elements in the array. So 210 is the output because if we place 10 before 2, it forms 102. And if we place 2 before 10, it forms 210. And since 210 is more than 102, the output is 210. Similarly, it could be this. So here, the largest number that can be formed from these numbers is this, right? So the important thing to note here is that if we just sort the array, we will not get the output because, uh, for example, if you sort this, 3 would be the first number, 5, second, 9, 30, and 34, which will not form the largest number. 9 at the first position and then 5, 3 and so on. Th these, this is the sequence that forms the largest number. So simply sorting the array is not going to give us the answer. The result may be very large, so you need to return a string instead of an integer. All right. So let's have a look at the various approaches we can use to solve this question, which is clearly on an unsorted array. So pause the video, have a look, think, come back. Okay, so since this question requires us to rearrange the given array elements in a specific manner so that we get the largest number that can be formed from those numbers, um, here we basically need to sort, but we just need to sort the array in a specific way, right? So we need to tweak the way we sort the uh, array or we basically need to tweak the way the comparator works for sorting the array, right? So it's very simple and very straightforward. We need to overwrite the comparator in a way that we are able to generate this output. Okay. So since the output is given um, and we need it, it to be a string, what we'll do is that we'll first convert all these numbers into their string representations and then create a string array and then sort that string array because it's easier to like just append or concatenate two numbers and find out which one of the combination is bigger, A plus B or B plus A. So that's what we'll be using um, and sort the string array uh, likewise to get the output and then just append them and form a single string and that should give us the answer. So let's get started. So our first base case is if there's nothing in nums, it's always better to handle such base cases because that gives the interviewer um, an idea that you're thinking um, and covering all aspects of the problem. And you're also taking into consideration some base cases. So that's always a plus point. So, okay. So if the length is equals to zero, then we return a blank string. Okay. Then, um, as I said, we just want to convert this. So let's call it string array SA equals to new. And the length would be the same as the length of the nums. Okay. Now let's use a for loop. We need i here, that's why we are not using the for each. Okay. And simply let's call it this. Okay. Now we need to parse this, so we'll use integer dot to string method from the integer class. So this will convert this number into a string, right? Okay, um, now the main part, we need to sort it, right? So we use arrays.sort and we want to sort SA, right? And we have to overwrite the comparator. So comparator will receive a string, sorry, okay. Um, okay, so we have to override the compare method, which will again get two strings, right? A and str 
right, B. Okay, so we can have two orders, right? <clears throat> like, for, for example, O1, the order 1 equals to A plus B. And the other order would be B plus A, right? So instead of like finding out if O1 is greater than this, then return this and that, uh, simply we can make use of the compare to method of string itself, which will basically compare the numerical uh, representation that is present in the string value and it will return whatever is bigger, right? So what we'll do is we'll compare O1 and O2 using the compare to method of the string class and that's what we will return. Uh, another thing to note here is that since we want to uh, arrange these in the decreasing order, right? Because we want the largest elements, we want these to be arranged so that, such that the number that gives us the largest number is at the front, right? Um, we have to arrange it in, in such an order. So we will be returning O2 minus O1 or O2 compared to O1, right? So we are basically reversing the order like we have done in a lot of other problems where we have used comparator. So it's just the same logic. Okay. So all we have to do here is return O2, sorry, O2 dot compare to O1. That's it. Okay. Now, uh, there's one important thing to note here that if all the elements of nums are zero, then that would not be caught here. So we need to check that after sorting, if the first element of the array, the sorted array is a zero, then we just need to return zero. Okay. So we just check that if this, since it's a string, we use the equals method. Okay. We just return zero, the string zero, right? Okay, um, now all that's remaining to be done is just create a string builder object. Sorry. Okay, and use a for each loop. Let's just call it this. Iterate through SA, which is the sorted array, and just keep on appending S to the string builder, and then return the string representation of SP. Sorry. Yeah. Looks good. Let's see if it runs. Okay, let's submit. Yeah, it works. All right. So the time complexity for this will be O of n log n because we are sorting the array. So that is clearly O of n log n. And then after that, we are traversing through the array, the sorted array once, but that's O of n log n plus O of n. So it still gives us O of n log n and the space complexity would be O of n because we are creating another array of the same length to store the string representations. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, that you find this helpful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe. Keep coding and take care guys.